this time it actually works! My god! Lights, camera, hit the proper button time. Is that how that goes? So I should probably explain what I had to do to get this to work. Uh, one, I made a new ISO of the game, which for whatever reason, I guess it was broken or something. The ISO that I made from my disc was broken, so it was causing an error there. So I made a new one and it worked, but then I reset the emulator and it wouldn't show my save games. In fact, I can show you slot one completely empty. And I started freaking out like, oh my god, but my save games are still there. Uh, so I had to use a save game editor uh, called Black Chocobo is the one I used to get it to work. And I had to modify the save game to get it to show up. So this is the save game. It, I screwed around with the second memory card in case I broke something. Uh, as Nothing has changed as far as I'm aware except for the gameplay time. Uh, the gameplay time was fixed, I guess. Something was... maybe it's not fixed, I don't know. It says we've been playing for 33 hours. I have no idea if that's accurate. But as far as I'm aware, that's the only thing that's changed. Also, my face. Hooray! Hopefully it doesn't block anything because my face is on the live stream because I forgot to take it off. Anyway, this scene now works, as well as some other things that were... Br probably those uh, cutscenes that were having issues were also a result of the ISO being broken. So maybe it's fixed to those as well. I'm not entirely sure, because this is all I've done, is test this. But this works, so we get to see what this is. Hooray! So hello everyone, look at it, it works, it's glorious, I can do circles, wargle. Anyway. This scene's not terribly long, but... Look at the image! Le gasp. My god, I'm gonna scare away like 700 people by showing my face. Livestream of Arma 3 Alpha? Who's livestreaming an alpha of a game? Wouldn't that be illegal? Unless it's the developer streaming it, because, you know, NDA, that whole sort of thing. Someone get a hose for when Akasha gets overexcited. Good lord. She already said yay and made a, a smiley face, so not that you can see me because the freaking sun behind me. The sun is literally directly behind me, causing some sort of halo on the back of the camera there. Oh well, we've already technically seen this, but hey, there's Holy. I know, yay for watching cutscenes we've already seen. It's glowing, yes, it's a materia. That's what they do. It's pale green! Yes! Very observant people we are. Hmm. There was a secret. I'm sorry, Foxer, I should have watched a scene we've already seen on a waterfall sooner. Interesting thing is they actually walk through the waterfall to get here, but they don't actually get wet. Not that I'm sure they would have actually taken the, you know, the time to make a model of them that looks wet just for this bit, but you know. Like, he's, he's, he's as dry as can be, and he walked through a freaking waterfall. Look how much water is going down there. If I walked through that, I think I might have just fallen off. <laughs> Pushed me off. It's a magical waterfall? I suppose. I think it's more the weird crystally flobbly thing there. It's magical. Also, how does that display an image? It's a bunch of little rod things that are wiggling and there's a light above them. I don't understand. I don't... Like, apparently that's some sort of magical old world projector kind of thing going on there. It's the same wiggly bits that are actually in the, uh, the the key thing, where he inserts the key thing. I wasn't paying attention. Where were we going? Usually I... Whoop, I have an FAQ open. Also, we got a cell phone call. Who's calling me? The roof has moved it. How do you move that cannon? Seriously. Hmm. The music stopped very suddenly. Where is that? The place where we started the game, actually.
I like the dramatic camera pan for a cannon we've already seen many times, but oh well. We don't use no stinking meters, we're American. Spelt with a U and a really big M. I see. Yeah, whatever. Wouldn't opening the, the Mako reactors full all the way be kind of a bad thing? I would imagine? Just remember, it was my idea to do something that sounds ridiculous. Please do not call it a Mako cannon. The Sister Ray. Oh lord. Why is she in charge of naming things? <laughs> Euro European? I like how you spelled European, that was good. Now we're back over here. I don't think we actually have to do anything, in fact we can't do anything with Holy, but I don't think we have to actually go back down there to do anything. Our goal right now is just to go to Midgar. Uh. However, when we get there, we'll have something far more important to do than anything regarding the cannon. Spoiler. <laughs> You're OP on. You people and your spelling. Glorious. His name is Rufus? His name is Rufy? Rufus the Rufy? I don't know. Either way. Uh... Oh, right. Weapon. I thought this didn't happen until we actually got near Midgar, but apparently it happens when I try to get inside the airship. Okay. Rufia. Remember that, that weapon that murdered everyone last time? Yeah, it's back. Apparently it just lives underwater when it's not trying to murder people. Also, roar! In 16 bits. I don't actually know what the music in this game is. Is it? I assume it's 16 bit. It could be 32. I'm pretty sure it's 16 now. So 16 bit roar, woo! I think it's late 16. I'm not really sure though. Who builds a weapon siren warning flare thing kind of thing? Rufio. Uh, inside the airship. It's a strange signal. It's causing people to have seizures, in fact. It's coming from this person in front of me. Hmm. Look how he freaks out like that. This is the best animation ever. This ain't good. Apparently, Citizen acts as like an antenna. I don't really know how that works. I guess he is a remote-controlled thing, so I guess he could act as an antenna, but that's a little weird. She's with Foxer's Mama. Foxer's Mama's in... Isn't she in the town? Where did she leave? I can't remember if she leaves. A deep red warning light gives people seizures, seriously. There you go. He's a terrorist. He just didn't want to admit it. I don't want to hear that from no one in Shinra. I've just murdered people, but you've murdered people, so I don't want to hear about you telling me about murdering people because you've murdered people. Hooray! Logic. Yes, yes. You know there's a weapon marching toward the city? We should probably, uh, I don't know, go deal with that? We're, we're a bit busy to have a, a team talk here. Team meeting. We can do that later, when there's not a weapon trying to murder people. 
Tifa sass what? She's a sassy girl, man. She's also got a lot of upper body weight. She's got to make sure her feet are ready to go there. Ready to carry the load. We got a chance of winning, right? Sure. <laughs> Why not? We're going to Midgar and fight weapon. We're going to Midgar and fight weapon. Not and going to fight weapon. And we will fight weapon. Just and fight weapon. And fight weapon. All the heavy lifting. Just think when she does squats, man. That's a serious workout there. Ready ho! Off we go. Where's he at? I don't remember where he comes out at, actually. But he came from kind of this angle. There he is. Hello! There's nothing we can do right now, by the way. Uh, if you run into him with the airship, it'll just get mad at you. There he is. We have to wait till he actually gets on land, so we may as well just go over here and land. Just wait. We may as well actually make sure we're equipped and ready to go before I do this. Um, let's check our material. I think everything's already set up since last time, yeah. Righty-ho. May as well give out some ethers and stuff. Fully restored. Do I have any regular ethers? I do. Uh, that's good enough. Doo -doo -doo. And now he waits. For a very long time because he's the slowest thing ever. Why doesn't he just fly over here? I mean, we already know he can fly. La -dee da Just waiting. There's the cannon, by the way. If you wanted to actually look at that. They actually model the cannon in the world map. Which I suppose is a nice touch. Slow-mo walking drone. No, this is just his walking speed. I mean, he can fly across the world in, like, not a very long time. In fact, he does it faster than the airship, I think. But... He decides to walk like this all the way to the town. It's not the smartest weapon. He's a little bit smarter than the one that stood in front of the cannon and died. But, you know. Hello. Can I just stand right here and you'll just step on me? Hello. And now we have to fight a weapon who's going to beat the crap out of us. Possibly multiple times. In fact, I should have saved before this. That was a bit silly. Uh, Bahamut Zero. You need to regen everybody. You need to Ultima him. Whenever it lets me Ultima him. So basically, the idea here is to basically blow all of your summons and all of your mana as quickly as possible. Just beat the crap out of him with your strongest stuff. So he's going to be casting Ultima every time. Moomin's going to heal. Did he just spit on Newman? Pretty much. And Cloud's gonna do the two summons and then I'll figure out what he needs to do. I suppose I can get rid of the menu so we can actually see what the heck is going on. And yeah, it has 30,000 HP in this fight, so it's 70,000 less than last time we saw it for some reason, but, you know. Bahamut Zero is gonna take a nice chunk out of that, so. It's all good. Seven K. And then he's gonna blow a regen, which will supposedly keep us alive, I hope. Should at least make it easier to keep us alive. Ow. Big Guard is also next on his list, so you just go ahead and summon Phoenix. Why not? Uh Big Guard. 2.5k. I was hoping it did more than that, but apparently not. Also, I forgot Ultima's tied the MP drain, so Jezereth can t cast Ultimate like a billion times. And by a billion, I mean probably like, I don't know, four? <laughs> Maybe five? That's a nice view of his crotch. 900! Not doing that anymore. Hooray! Uh, 
we'll just keep casting Ultima. He does have an attack that hits everybody, by the way, so just keep that in mind. He also likes to spit on Moomin for some reason. I think he's weak to lightning. Is he weak to lightning? Quick, use all the summons. I've already used all the summons that I have equipped. It's really Bahamut Zero that's the only one that matters. If you have Bahamut Zero, equip it and use it. Because as you may have noticed, it does a billion damage. Don't look at me funny like that. Stop spitting on Moomin, it's rude. Um... Can I slow him? That's actually curious. 2k. He is weak to, uh, lightning. Good to know! I should actually just start casting Shrine with everybody instead of Ultima. Although Ultima does more damage, it takes a lot more... MP. So that's probably not a good idea. Use more summons? What's the boss's name? This is... Diamond Weapon, I believe? You don't even have Shrine. Does he have Bolt? No, he's just our pure support. Any day now. Zero! Oh, right! I forgot he does this. Um, I didn't even realize he had started a countdown. So, Moomin... Pure... Hyper Jump. Rain. I forgot he does that. Oh, he silenced Moomin, that's right. I forgot that also occurs. Uh, he'll start a countdown. I should have put silence protection on Moomin. When he reaches zero, he does Diamond Flash. Which, as you may have noticed, hurts. It's actually percentage-based, so it can't kill you. But it does silence you, which is bad, as one might expect. Oh, he's dead! Good! Because <laughs> I can't heal. There we go. Everyone's nearly dead, but a lot of experience. In fact, if you have... Uh... I believe it's possible to get extra... Uh, experience material by this point in the game, so if you have one, it's actually a really good fight, because you can get many levels from that fight. Also a lot of AP, you may have noticed. Look at it go! Whee! And it's done. Hooray! So we actually, I think we may have mastered an all materia there, or at least it might be another low level all that we have. I have a lot of all materia sitting around. Actually, I don't really. I think I have five all materia now. Because I keep buying them. I think we've confused him. Or he's just bored and he's just going to go somewhere else now. Yeah, he's just bored. He'll be. He'll be back. <laughs> See ya. Suddenly dark. Oh, because we're in his shadow. Yay, gills! Think of all the breathing underwater. Glorious. It senses murder, so it's just gonna leave. To my ship! That's where the murder is, quickly! Ultima's model, by the way, looks substantially better than, like, every important character in the game, and it's hilarious that they put that much effort into his model. I think his toe has more polygons than Cloud does. Could probably hit it a few times in the back. I'm not sure why it walks everywhere so slow when it can just, you know, fly really fast and pivot on a dime. I like how they're actually using the name Sister Ray as well. Laugh, laugh, laugh silently. Well, that was fairly anti dramatic, just fire. Okay. Also, this scene's really cool. I don't know why it's got wibbly bits back there, but it's got wibbly bits, so there you go. Look at all the wibbly bits. None of it makes any sense. It also appears to have, like, landing strip lights on the top of it. But hey, it looks cool. That's all that matters. It's about to wibble someone. Right in the face. Remember when they said it senses murder? There's a reason it senses murder. We're about to find out. Notice the red. Notice no one has power. Oh dear.
And because we can, we have multiple angles. And this is what's gone wrong. Who built this thing? It broke when it fired. Not that he appears to care, but hey. Oh yeah, and it has the ability to do this. I don't know why it doesn't just do this to kill us, but, you know. And it has built-in Gatling cannons! Hooray! <laughs> it's already attacking. What do you want about? Yours did that too. Yours broke when it fired. I'm glad we all have sister rays. He's gonna die, by the way. But he's already shot, so I don't think he really cares all that much. Dramatic camera angles for no reason. I like how he just stands there. He's like, ah, I got it. It's alright. Also, again, standing in the wrong place. He is literally... He's not even what they were shooting at, by the way. They are shooting at Sephiroth. He just happened to be standing in the wrong spot. These weapons, I don't like... What are they doing? Stop standing in front of cannons, doofuses. Also, how he determines that, I'm not sure. They're shooting across the freaking planet. Let's calculate the trajectory. Oh, they're going for Sephiroth. Okay. And all they manage to do with all that power is break the protective barrier. Hooray! They didn't actually do anything to the inside of it, they just broke the barrier. Cloud's view crosses continents. He's got some... he's really good on the fly with trajectory analysis, man. And weapon shot at Midgar. Whole lot of people are about to die. Hooray! Also Rufus. No, not the, not the computer monitors. The only thing he shot was Rufus. He's got sniper shot, man. How far away was he was he when he did that? He shot Rufus basically in the face. <laughs> Good job, weapon. There's no ma music. Why is there no music? Why is there no music? You there! He's a learner, pilots. I like how Neuroxin is the one who's stuttering now, and the pilot's like, "Yeah, let's go, let's do it." Yeah. That's what that's what the pilot's doing and thinking. Maybe not. Maybe not. Maybe not the flexing. I'm not really sure, but either way, we go. I don't really think the model has changed. Oh, it did change it? Does it? Did it? No, it didn't. So Midgar's model doesn't actually change after that, sadly. I thought there really is anything to change. Uh, but hey. Northern Crater, where are you at? I can't remember exactly. Is it up here? There it is. Hello. My name's Cloud. So the camera freaks out and tries to follow my face while I scratch my back. No, his energy barrier. What will we do, and why is it playing Shinra music? Of course he can go anywhere. You buffoon. Hold it! Rufus is dead, so now these idiots are in control. Which is fantastic. Not the president, two sister Ray. As if everyone in this game doesn't speak awkwardly. The reactor's output is increasing by itself, and this is the problem with giant cannons. That's not wise. <laughs> what kind of statement is that? The reactors are powering up by themselves. That's not wise at all. <laughs> it was cool for three hours. Well, you kind of broke it firing it, but whatever. It's inoperable bull bull. Mainframe operation. 
Why did they have mainframe operation for a giant cannon? I don't... I don't under... what? That's kind of what Final Fantasies are, Oliver. If you... if there was no leveling in Final Fantasies and you just went through the game, it'd be better just to make them a movie. Because <laughs> literally, if you just went from one se story sequence to the next, it would be like maybe five minutes between them, at most. And that's for long stuff where you have to go through like a cave and several continents or something like that. Also, hello Hojo, why are you breaking things? Didn't we tell you not to do things like this? I'll give you all the Mako you want. Via giant cannon delivery system! Faster than UPS. But marginally more expensive. One or two Midgars? What does that mean? Is that like a currency to him? One or two Midgars! That is pocket change. Don't we only have one Midgar anyway? How would you get two Midgars for the price of that? Two Midgars for the price of one Giant's Cannon Delivery. Although two, I guess, because they did already fire at once, so... Excuse me. I've gone mad, just let me see you destroy the world. Hooray! I'll raise you three ancient cities, sir. 